It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and it's Pumpkin right here. And uh, we're here to read you another bedtime story. Still a little nasally, still got a little bit of a cold, but uh, starting to feel a little better. We're gonna read a story today. Today, I have a little note here, is World Poetry Day. And instead of me reading you a poem or creating a poem like roses are red, violets are blue kind of thing today, I'm gonna read you a story that is a poem. And it involves a cat, a white cat, sort of like Pumpkin, who is more than white, more orange and white. But this story is about a white cat and a monk on World Poetry Day. Yep, let's get into it right now. The White Cat and the Monk by Joe Ellen Bogart, illustrated by Sidney Smith. This story was copyright in 2016. Are you ready? Here we go. And uh, this is the retelling of the poem translated in English called Pangur Ban. Pangur Ban. Here we go. I, monk and scholar, share my room. With my white cat, Pangur, by candle's light late into the night, we work each at a special trade. For more than any fame, I enjoy the peaceful pursuit of knowledge. I treasure the wealth to be found in my books. Pangur has his own pursuit. His game of chase and catch, the silent hunter, he sits and stares at the wall. He studies the hole that leads to the mouse's home. Mine own eyes, older and less bright than his, study my manuscript, hunting for a meaning. Each page is a challenge. Pangor does not disturb me at my work, and I do not disturb him at his. We are each content with all we need to entertain us. Ours is a happy tale. When a mouse appears, Pangor snares it with his needle claws. He feels joy at catching his prey. I feel joy as I find at last the answer to my puzzle. In our tiny home, Pangor finds his mouse. And I find light in the darkness. The end.
How about that? The cat and the monk both working on a project, both applying their trade. The monk being a scholar, an author, a creator of words. And the white cat, Panger, well, enjoying the mice, enjoying finding mouse and taking care of that pet population. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story. Pumpkin, I hope you enjoyed that story. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.